Hello and what is it there guys? Welcome to the first episode of my gigantic map series. I hope you enjoyed the trailer I made for this series. I used another shaders which is a pretty intense one and it was just to check out if it is suited to do cinematics so please tell me what you thought of the trailer if it was too laggy or not. I'm recording this actually before I see the comments so uh, if you've already replied to that video don't worry. I will have read those. It's just to try out those graphics and if I should use that for other cinematics. But without any more attention to that problem, this is my gigantic map. It's a huge map I created with World Painter. And for those that haven't seen anything, this is where I will be building in single player. Uh, a lot of different themed builds and this is my desert build a town called Quarox it's a it's a trader settlement a trader post and we'll just be going around this town to talk about everything I've built it so far uh, from built so far and for anyone that has already seen some of my videos uh, some buildings may might be familiar and some of them are new so yes it the town isn't finished yet I still need to add a couple of things but it's getting there so this is the first ship it's a trading ship which has docked here in port we've got a fishing ship over here and another little ship over there then we have the entrance to the ship uh, to the settlement here and a little entrance to where the fishermen will live in this house here to the garden here and this is a house for the other sailors of this settlement but if you go through this uh, well small arch I should say you get into town and the first building you see the most fancy building that you see on this this coastline is the dock office so that's where you report yourself if you're a trader and say I want a market stall or I want place in the storage or I need a room to sleep and that's what you can do there then when you go on you'll see some market stalls I haven't added anything in there but you'll see some over there this will be a big market square I will be adding a lot more market stalls over here maybe a fountain something like that some pretty detail and yeah that's it and this is the market slash garden thing um, we've got a big garden in here We've got some market stalls in here and we can buy some sheep over there. So yeah and then something I'm actually working on currently and what I haven't showed to you before is this this kind of fort which is where the barracks will be and the jails will be. So let's just go in you can see this design of the gatehouse. You go in you can see there's a wall all around it. Uh, you can walk across the wall but you can see it's only a single wall that's got nothing on the other side I will be making a bigger tower here which will host the rooms of the captain of the guard and such and uh, probably some rooms for sleeping uh, then we here have some, some, some windows which could be used to shoot arrows through of course minecraft won't allow it but if it were real you could shoot arrows through these gaps and then we've got another gatehouse here leading to a little like dock special for delivering goods to the soldiers or maybe for a smaller warship because a bigger one couldn't get so close to to the shore but you can see the gatehouse design the wall connecting everything up again and then here we've got a little building I haven't done the inside yet but this is the entrance to the jails and this is where I will make a torture room some torture thingies and then here we've got the jails we've got one which is for the really bad guys that need to be alone and can't really see anything beside their walls and then we'll have such rooms which will have a window and a place to pee and drink in and yeah those are basically all the same just oh I need to add some water in there that's not fair and some water in there as well but yeah you can see very small cells but I thought it would be nice to have them well not really nice but it would be 
realistic to have them and as soon as I'm finishing up that area and the marked area I'm actually pretty close to finishing up the whole map so let's just have a look on this market you can see a lot of detail here you can see this is where the blacksmith works this is where he lives and it's connected to the jeweler which share the workplace and then over here we've got the keep where the lord of this settlement would sit and rule and this shop which I still need to decorate will be where you can buy bombs so TNT and stuff I thought that would be fun to have um, then this is a a little bakery oh this is not right I need to fix that so that's better so this is a little bakery and then we've got the house for the baker there we've got the slaughterhouse the butcher where there's some meat hanging outside it's not very good for the meat but it looks fun you can see what it is this way so that's why I did it then over here we've got the poor area but we've got one more shop over here which is the silk trader which can make all his beautiful wares out here in the garden you can see this is a bit of poorer housing uh, we've got one barracks here to keep watch over this poor district and in a poor district you'll see really cramped streets missing bricks um, a lot less detail so only one stone material and a lot of ways to go from one roof to the other roof uh, without having to, to, to jump in most, most cases so that's pretty pretty fun and it will actually be very fun for PvP stuff so yeah just jumping from, from one rooftop to the other and then we here have a little black market where you can buy goods over here and they store them on the other side then we've got a little fountain on this side and this is a little mosque I didn't want a big one just because it's a very small settlement and I felt like it shouldn't be do too big otherwise it would take away uh, from the realist realistic feel of this settlement and then here we've got the place to clean yourself and then on here we've got the entrance and this is where this third everything happens so yeah let's go over here um, we've had those buildings and then over here we've got the inn with a lot of different gardens on the sides and roof gardens and and just a lot of different rooms are inside so it's quite a fun building then here we've got two richer houses but not too detailed then next to the inn we have the storage house which is for all the traders of course then next to that we've got a little farm which works like this you would get the water you would take it up here bring it up here with the ladder then put it into these things and that would let the water flow across the fields which would allow for these plants to actually grow and yeah so we've got all these plants over here and uh, some of it is actually waving and then here we've got the farmer house where his workers and he would live and some storage areas and we've got some richer houses over here some with a very nice front garden and yes that's that's the whole town so what I'll be doing next is finishing up all uh, the market square the fort and finishing all the insides of the houses as well so that the whole place is decorated and good to go and then next thing I want to do is build something based on the the Thraki horse lords of the Game of Thrones I want to ba build a little camp over here in the desert and if I like the style and if you guys like the style I might be adding more stuff like that in the future so yeah with that all being said I guess that will be the end of the video if you liked what you see and have seen please like this video because it really helps me out a lot leave some comments and feedback down below and I will see you guys soon with another video and update on this gigantic map and I'll see you then